Hey, it's May 2nd. That makes it Thursday. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute, and today I wanted to talk with you about mobile-first web design. So in 2009, Luke Wroblowski, who is a total web genius, he worked at Yahoo and he's done a whole bunch of stuff, came out with a paper and a talk talking about uh, mobile-first web design or what's been turned into calling responsive web design. What is this all about? Mobile first. Well, it's as simple as it sounds. It's taking mobile devices as the first step when considering designing a website. What, what, wait, wait, what, what happened to my desktop and tablet, you ask? Well, the reason you want to concentrate on mobile first is, A, it's the fastest growing type of devices in the US, the world, you name it. Smartphone adoption is growing ridiculously, whether it's a iOS or an Android device or Windows, I guess Blackberry's doing something still. Uh, these are the devices that people are getting more of, more often, and they're using them all the time. They've always got them in their pocket. The issue from a design perspective you've got to deal with is now it's not only a smaller screen, but these people are also probably going to be on a cellular connection as opposed to a Wi-Fi connection. So it's going to be a much slower connection. So you need to not only design for the smaller screen, but you also need to make sure you're designing for the, the, the network speed that these people are accessing this stuff through. So your website needs to be incredibly lightweight, incredibly fast. Now, if you can get the mobile first down, then scaling up into a tablet form and a desktop, all you're doing at that point now is redesigning the elements to deal with a larger screen factor. Well, but what if I want to serve all these heavy images and videos and all this stuff? Well, you really need to ask yourself, A, is that stuff actually generating more revenue for you? And if it is, is there a better way you can be implementing it so that it loads faster and is accessible on a mobile device? What I want to make sure you know is that if you are a designer or you work with designers who are doing websites for you, the mobile first or responsive website discussion needs to be coming up at the very beginning because this is money on the table. People who have smartphones, especially let's say the iPhone, have not only spent money on that iPhone, they're spending hundreds of dollars a month for the data service for that phone. That means they've got money. That means they could be your customer. So you wanna make sure that when they come to your website on their phone, that your website loads and it's usable. Now, just because your website might load up, it doesn't necessarily make it usable. If it loads up and it's the same dimensions, same aspect ratio that you have on your desktop computer, then that text is like that big and it's totally unusable. Clicking on those links is impossible. Finding the information you need is very, very difficult. Okay, so you need to make sure that when you're thinking mobile first, hey, things are larger, they're more easily read. Oh, hey, a lot of times for a service business, people are looking for my phone number. So let's make that immediately available to them because with the iPhone, it turns a phone number into a clickable link. And when they click that link, it actually calls your company through that smartphone because it's still got phone after smart. So now they're talking to you, and now you've actually got an interaction going on. You've just generated a lead through your website. So, you know, same thing goes with map directions. You can put a link to the maps on there, to Google Maps, to your address book, it, and it will bring up the map on their phone, and they'll be able to come straight into your door. Sounds pretty good. So make sure that you're aware of this. Luke Robowski, if you do a search for mobile first, he put a book on a list apart or a book apart a while back. Uh, there's a lot of information about this stuff out there. If you're a designer, you can get into it very quickly. If you're not a designer, you should at least brush up on it so that when you're having a discussion with somebody who's gonna make a website for you, you're able to have an intelligent conversation and be able to figure out if they're gonna be able to help you out with this or not. So that's what I've got. Email address is right there. Comments are down below. Let me know what you think. Am I totally off base? Is mobile first not important? I kind of doubt it. Uh, all my clients that I've transferred into mobile websites in the last two years, the you know business is booming. Con uh, conversions from mobile have you know more than quadrupled, hundred dupled. They've gotten huge. So it's there. It's happening right now. You're probably doing it yourself. You're probably on your smartphone, maybe watching this, maybe surfing for something else. And go to your website right now. How does it load up? How does it look? If it doesn't look that good. 
Find somebody that can do responsive web design and you can call me, I can help you too. Anyway, that's what I've got. Tomorrow's Friday, so we've gotten through another week. Good job, rock on.